up everyone welcome to Dollar Tree Tuesday DIY so today I have an easy transformation of these lovely um, shells and stuff that came from the Dollar Tree and they don't really match my decor so I want to change them up a little bit so for this little DIY project we're going to need some of these and I have four um, I went back to get another one of these um, if you saw my life haul at Dollar Tree but it wound up being broke so I actually just got another one of these. So um, we have four of those. And they're going to wind up being decor probably for my master bathroom. And then we're going to be using some We Really Chalk paint. This is super premium, high performance. This is the pool color. And then ivory. And then maybe some of the deco art um, bleach sand. I really like this color as well. We're going to be using a little bit of Mod Podge, and this is just the, the mat, which you can get from Dollar Tree. And if you want this to be completely from Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree does sell acrylic paint that you can get from there. We're going to be using some nautical rope, and we're going to be using some sand from the Dollar Tree. And of course, paintbrush, glue gun. So let's straighten this up, and we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is give these a coat of paint. And I'm thinking I'm using, um, I'm going to use some of the, the ivory and the bleach sand and the blue on these. Regardless of what I'm doing, I'm giving them a paint because I just honestly do not like this gold. But I loved the the little project I mean the little um, decor piece so I'm just painting this with chalk paint um, this is the ivory chalk paint so I'm gonna go over it with one coat and then I'll probably do another coat on this but I won't make you stay and watch that <laughs> but the chalk paint does cover pretty nicely But I can tell it is going to do, it is going to require a second coat. So all I'm going to do for right now is to paint these. And, um, and then I'll come back when they're all painted. Okay guys, so I am done painting them. And I painted them all the same except for this one because a couple of them are going to be different. So I wanted all of them to sort of have a similar look but a different look. So I just painted them the... I decided to go ahead and stick to the the ivory. And it came out really good. And then I painted this one the blue. But the light blue didn't do what I wanted to do. So I went back over it with the Caribbean blue. And this is just apple barrel paint. And then I took a dry brush and I got all the paint off of it for a little bit. And I dry brush the ivory on top of it just to not back the blue. But I wanted the blue to shine through, kind of age it a little bit. So this is the only one that really is going to stay pretty much the way it is. So we're going to work on these now. So the first one we're going to do is a little starfish and we're going to need some Mod Podge for this and what we're going to do is just put a little Mod Podge down here and I'm just taking a foam brush for this excuse me and I'm just going to go over the bottom of it with the Mod Podge I make sure I covered up pretty good. It's all gonna. It's also gonna seal the paint. <laughs> and then we're gonna stick it in here, and I'm gonna cover the bottom of it with sand. And what doesn't stick, I can tell where I need more Mod Podge. <laughs> Shh. Sorry about the dogs, guys. My dogs bark if they hear. I don't know how dogs do that. How do they hear the least little bit of sound? 
they here, but they do. So I'm just going to go over some places that I missed with the Mod Podge. Of course, you want to make sure that you wash your brush out good when you do this, or if you don't want to save it, throw it away. Because it will definitely put grit in your paint. Okay. Now, we're going to let this dry for a few minutes. Then I'm going to go back over it with Mod Podge and re-dip it in there. So I'm going to let that sit to the side and dry for a few minutes. And while that one's out, we're going to get this one. And we're going to put our rope around it. Now, I wanted to paint underneath it because... Um, I just didn't want that gold showing through if you saw it, even with the rope. So we're just going to put our rope around this like this, on this one. And do that. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of it to start it. Using the heavy duty glue gun today because... Well, for whatever reason, I cannot find, oh, actually, I think I'm going to leave it like this. Yeah, you know, I change my mind on the fly all the time. Do y'all do that? Because I want to be able to see some of the shape of it. Yeah, I like the way that looks. Okay. And this is the back here. So then we're just going to cut that off and glue it down. Okay, so that's that look. And I'm thinking I might see if I can find one of my charms or something to put on it, but I don't know. I like it like that. And what I might do on the bottom of this is do the bottom of this the same way with the sand. So let's get the Mod Podge going here and just do it around the edge of it. Well, that was quite dumb. <laughs> do y'all do things like that? I'm not going to edit my bloopers out. I did find a good editing program now. I think it might work with my phone. But I've decided I'll just leave my bloopers in so y'all can laugh along with me because that was pretty stupid. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to put this on the bottom. That covered very nicely. I think that looks very nice. So, let me put this one down here. Okay, so this is dry now, so I'm going to go back over top of it with more Mod Podge and re sand it. And I am putting kind of a heavy coat on here. Mm -hmm. 
just gonna make sure all that's wet. And then I'm just gonna go back around it and put sand on it again. Now probably what I'll do, because this is gonna probably, like I said, probably go in my bathroom, I am probably gonna spray the ones with the um, sand with a, a, a acrylic sealer just so that it doesn't um, come off. Okay. Now I'm just going to hit just a couple little spots here and there with it, and even on the starfish a little bit. Just to sprinkle some to bring the beach in. like that. I don't know if you can tell, but I really like the way that looks. Okay. So we have this one here with the rope. And let's see if this is dry. Yep. This is dry enough to go back over with a little bit more sand. I'm really liking the sand idea. somebody asked me I said will you ever buy anything and leave it the way you bought it uh, maybe <laughs> not very likely though but I just wanted to show you how you can get something pre-made and change it to your style your decor pieces like Okay, now, I'm going to put a little bit right there. Now, how beachy does that look? That looks really cute. So, I am going to let these dry. Let's see. I don't know if I'm going to leave this like this. I think it's just too white. So, I may put some rope around this one as well and fix it up. I'm not sure if I'm going to put sand on this one or not since it's blue and white. I'm not sure. But if I do, you'll see it at the end. <laughs> so, let me get the rope. Let's see. I might do this one a little different. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Now, you know the little white rope from Michaels would probably be a little bit better to do this, but I, when I do Dollar Tree projects, I really like to try to stick to Dollar Tree products, maybe said paint, because our Dollar Tree doesn't carry paints. I mean, um, um, some paints they carry, but I mean, like, you know, some things they don't carry, and if Dollar Tree doesn't carry it, then that's the only time that I will usually substitute something different y'all see how the sears is from hades cut <laughs> it's like i have no problem zipping through that <laughs> sorry I'm, i didn't mean to get out of frame there i just like the way that looks okay and so we are going to move this out of way and maybe put some sand on this one. I kind of wish I was doing this live because I would ask your opinion about the sand on the blue one or not. But it still might get on there. And so, when my neighbor, Jennifer, moved, she, <laughs> I inherited a 25-pound bag of sand from her, and I had all this Dollar Tree sand, too, so I've been giving out sand to everybody. But this is Dollar Tree sand. 
I bought it, and I bought one of these plastic containers, of course, from the Dollar Tree as well. And I opened up the bags and poured it in the container. It's a lot easier to keep together in one place, and um, the bag may, it doesn't get ripped open and when you open a bag and you don't use the whole bag yeah it tends to spill so okay all right, guys, so we are finished, and I just love the way these turned out. Like I said, I will be spraying these with acrylic spray. That's this one, and this one, and the little starfish I love. Put, I put a little sand on him, and then the blue one I decided to leave for the blue with the, um, the white on it. So it looks more weathered, but I just love how these three came out too. Um, this one is, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I may, it may go with the blue setting that I have in my living room, but I think definitely these are been going in my bathroom or these two may go together and these two may go together. I'm not sure, but tell me what you think of the little makeover that I did with the shells and um, I love the way they came out. Thank you so much for watching today and make sure that if you're not subscribed to my channel please do that by hitting that little subscribe button down there and don't forget to tap the bell with the huggy around it so that you can be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much again have a great day bye bye